Hi everyone, this is Curly Head Med. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you a mnemonic I found helpful when understanding the jugular venous pulse waveforms. Um, I started this series on mnemonics involving the cardiovascular system about a year ago, but I only ended up uploading one video, so this is the second video in that series. Stay tuned if you feel like this might help you. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the jugular venous waveform is split up into five parts. The A wave corresponds to atrial contraction. The C wave corresponds to right ventricular contraction. The X descent corresponds to the downward displacement of the closed tricuspid valve during the right ventricular ejection phase. And the V wave corresponds to the increase in right atrial pressure with filling against the closed tricuspid valve and the Y descent corresponds to right atrial emptying into the right ventricle. Now, for each of these phases, I have the mnemonic ASK ME, A-S-K-M-E, with the A representing the A wave for atrial contraction, the S representing the C wave for systole or right ventricular contraction, the K representing the X descent for closure of the tricuspid valve, and the M representing the V wave for maximal atrial filling. And then we have the E representing the Y descent for emptying of the atrium. A for A wave, S for C wave, K looks very similar to X for X descent, M for V wave, and E for emptying of the atrium. So what do these waves and descents correspond with? So the A wave, as we said, is atrial contraction. So when you see a prominent A wave, that's usually seen in a patient with right ventricular hypertrophy or a tricuspid stenosis. If you see an absent A wave, that's usually due to atrial fibrillation. If you see a reduced or absent X descent, that's usually due to tricuspid regurgitation or a right ventricular heart failure. And if you see a prominent Y wave, that's usually due to constrictive pericarditis and an absent Y, wave corresponds to cardiac tamponade. Those are the important correlations you need to know between the changes in the wave, in the waves or the descents of the jugular venous waveform and what that indicates. I hope the mnemonic is also helpful. Ask me for ACV VY. Ask me ACV VY V. So ask, a, ask kind of sounds like, if you think about it, ask if you try and pronounce A-C-X, that's almost like ax, ask, ax, and then V-Y, V, me, ask, ax, V, me, ask me. I hope that's helpful.